A Fresno City Council member is proposing new rules to prevent the altering of historic places months after finding Hardy's Theater gutted by its new owners. Action News reporter Corn Hogger joins us from the newsroom now to explain how the new idea would change the way the city looks at its own history. Corn? Margo, the new ordinance on City Council's agenda for tomorrow could add a layer of protection or red tape around every single building in Fresno that's at least 50 years old. History lines the streets of downtown Fresno where more than 20 buildings are on the National Register of Historic Places. The area's council member Miguel Arias says the city needs to honor that history. We also have a well documented history of not protecting them. The Hardy Theater was just the latest example in that journey. Arias recently discovered construction and demolition work at the historic theater, which is now owned by a church. The city cited the owners for code violations, including construction without a permit. They've recently agreed to restore some of the historic elements, especially along the walls and on the ceiling. And you can see some of the latest work from just outside the theater Wednesday. Arias enlisted help from some members of the city's Historic Preservation Commission to try and prevent another historic erasure. Initially, we took historic preservation as this kind of very feel-good thing, um, whereas really what it is, it's showing us the legacy that we have as a city. It shows us where we are, where we are going, and where we've been. They came up with a new ordinance, putting the onus on property owners to make sure their buildings are not historic before initiating major construction projects. Anything over 50 years old would need the commission to confirm no historical person or event was there and no unique architectural work got it built. It'll cost the city an undetermined amount of money and create new work for the commission. It's the work we want. It's the work we should have been doing all along. Uh, this is exactly what we signed up for. Now that ordinance is up for introduction only tomorrow, so it can't get final approval tomorrow. If it eventually passes, it would institute fines and possibly even criminal penalties for violations, but it won't apply to construction work already in progress, like what's happening at the Hardy's Theater. From the newsroom, Corin Hoggard, ABC 30 Action News. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.